on the show as we welcome you to Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Today, the finale of this quick two-game series between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Yankees. The Braves look to extend their historic winning streak to 18 right after this. Into the box, Rodrigo Hill. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Yankees. first. The third baseman, Rodrigo Hill. Here it comes. Hey. In there, and it's 0-1. Guys, one of D-Rose's former employers, the Braves, as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball here right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And the knuckle curve that time got him swinging, and that's the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Batting second. The Colvin center Carroll field. will be the batter. Corbin. As he pops Carroll. the first pitch foul behind the plate. He'll come in here at 259. No home runs just yet, and seven driven in. Here we go, guys. Fouled away. Hey, we've got one right here. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Batting third. Standing in now. The first George baseman. Rocha. George. Fouled off. Rocha. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Gonna be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We are still scoreless. So here is Tirsa Ornelas. Leading off the home Yankees. half of the second. The right fielder, Tirsa Ornelas. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98. 0 and 1. Your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park like this. Have to yeah. get the ball up to do some damage. I'm not mad at that take. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. He gone. That is the plate now. Noel the Marte. Hitter. No and he'll hold off on the slider Martin. here to start the at bat. It's ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Hey, we got one here. We got one. The 1 0. He 
is a nope, curveball taken low for a ball. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Hey. Two and one now. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Two and two. two ball. Look two at the strike. radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Here now the 2 2. It is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in that on it, getting ahead on the next the second guy. baseman. Charlo. Open up. To the plate now, Carlos Sepulveda. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. There we go. Late decision no to swing that time, right. man. As a result, it's 0-2. You know, when you're facing a top-of-the-line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. This one's blooped out toward right center field. In comes the center fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. Batting seven. That's shortstop. Anthony. Stepping in now. Anthony oh, hey. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Sepulveda leads off first now? with a pair of outs in the inning. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. What a well executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Yankee shortstop behind one in the ball, count two one and two. Count. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes three. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. We'll move to the third with no score. Bottom of the inning now. And after the plate will be the speedy Yankees. outfielder, Leody Tavares. Leody Tavares. Now here's the first offering. Good pitch there. Oh, Had him a little the out in front. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy Eight. is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Here it comes on nothing and two. And they just can't touch him right now as this is swung on and missed. Seven punch outs now, and there's one away. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks, and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Batting nine. In the now, catcher. Anthony Siegler. Anthony. 
He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the running play. Two down. Now at the plate, here is Rodrigo Gill. Over one here in the, the early third going. Rodrigo Gill. Fly ball right down the line in left. Left fielder ball, giving chase. Ball, ball. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing nothing. Stepping up is Ruben Carroll. Struck out in his last trip to the play. Yeah, and kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see. If he tries to cheat to something, this AB. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's do it for once. Throw will not be in time. It's a perfect bunt there. Nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Up next for the game. The first base. So now to the plate, Yo. George Rocha. Rocha. He'll get caught oh, chasing a bad one there at strike one. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another. Why you get a W or a loss right here? Leadoff man on, hard of the order coming up. No Guy ball. out on the mound. This guy's work cut out for him. There we go. Come set. Now the pitch, and he fouls this one off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ballgame. The right fielder, number 20, Tierso. Into the box, Tierso Ornelas. Ornella. Liner in there for a base hit. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off to towards starts. Some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. The bat, the designated hitter, no LB. At the plate, no LB he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding us. Nope. That's inside. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off. 1 and 2. Has a look. Now the pitch. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. The bat. plate now. The Carlos second base. Over hey. As he will take strike one on the fastball Set. here. No Open balls in a strike. They got a hold right now. Hey, you're away now. Come set. The 0 1. Big oh, swing at the knuckle curve. Gets nothing but air. 0 oh, 2 now. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up? Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. This opportunity is once in a lifetime. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. More from Yankee Stadium in just a moment. Yanks strand a pair through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Box 
Anthony Volpe as we move past the, the halfway point in this one and the begin shortstop. the bottom of the fifth. Anthony. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense Volpe. in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Hey. Slider finds the zone for a strike. Here we go. Talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. That's not an at bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. Standing in now, Leody Tavares. Leody. Reined in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Digging in next, Anthony Siegler flew out now last back. time up. The catcher. Anthony. He'll take one on the inside corner Siegler. at the knees at strike one. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly it's been a treat to watch into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 oh he had him fooled oh, there no balls and two strikes yeah if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game the offense better step up somebody's going to have well. to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count one and two to the Yankees catcher here comes the one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning. More and that'll Yankee. give way to the third baseman. The third baseman. Rodrigo Gill. Rodrigo Gill. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. Count. Hey, it plays out one right here. Fastball called for strike two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. To the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Nope. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. I got the count. 1 and well, 2. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work. But now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. The 1 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Now back, the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. Stepping in now, Corbin Carroll. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. The wind up and the 0 1. 
Yeah. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Now batting, first baseman. So now to the plate, George Rocha. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Hey. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might go right exactly to the same spot. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. Still no score. Last half of the seventh here. And digging in is the outfielder, the Tirsa Ornelas. The right fielder. Tirsa. Late that time for a strike. Ornella. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Now and that. Blake now, the Marte. Hitter. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Marte. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A one count. Here's the pitch. Good pitch there. Got him a little out in two. front. O2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Fouled away. The O2 once more. Another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. That was a big strikeout there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. The bat. The second baseman. Into the box now. Oh, oh. Carlos Sepulveda. Sepulveda. He swings and grounds it to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the Got dirt, it. but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. And stepping in, Anthony Volpe. Leaving really things off here Yankee. in his one run contest. The shortstop, Anthony Volpe. pitch on its way. Ah. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. 
Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings okay. through the fastball. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Struck Dang. him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Now back to the plate now. The Leody Tavares. Leody. Fouled off. Tavares. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One, here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So now into the box is Anthony Siegler. Now he flew out his first time the around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And another foul ball. No runs, three hits. And one error on the Yankee line score so far. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Yes. They trail this one one to nothing. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Rodrigo go. Hill. The and then what's gone wrong for this baseman. lineup today? They're Rodrigo. only three outs away from being yeah. shut out. Boy, you know, I just I dive and he knocks it down. Good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Time called here as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Anderson. Now to bat, Corbin Carroll. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And here's a cold strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that Number one too much, but it's 0 and 1. Anderson. Well received. And he pops up to Bonnetown. Mack is there, and he has it for the out. And now. George Rocha, now who went down on strikes in his baseman. last at bat. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing hey. pass. Oh, and that one oh, slung one through down. the strike zone that time at 98. 0 oh, and 1. From the stretch. Strike hey. taken. The throw. Hey. He's in there easily. Bounces on the way down. Good attention, please. Marisi, now what a runner at second with one away. Number 38, Anderson. Oh, this one's down to third. He's got it. On the first oh. in time, and the Yankees are down to their final out now. So now here is Tirsa Ornelas. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid Tirsa. the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just Ornella. haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. He's a step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Atlanta Braves came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory.